All right, let's go and welcome back to a new series uh, of XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man War of the Chosen. Today we do have a bit of an Easter egg as my good friend and uh, partner in crime Swiss Guru, aka Chris, uh, is going to join me for some cooperative XCOM. For those of you who haven't known uh, by now, there is a great program called Parsec, which allows you to essentially play with anyone around the world uh, in your friends list um, and basically share the inputs of uh, games. So that's what we did. Uh, we already tried it in the Gatecrasher mission, so we're joining today's episode in a fresh legendary Iron Man campaign. Just to get you uh, started, no mods whatsoever. Um, we're playing uh, highest difficulty Iron Man. Uh, Chris himself, uh, you might want to give us a bit of an introduction uh, to uh, yourself as a person and uh, your experience in XCOM and I and and the level of excitement that you do have for today's run. That is uh, <laughs> very brave of you to speak of excitement. Uh, I would say I'm very curious to see how this turns out. So uh, I play a lot of games. Uh, I know uh, Saiken from uh, other games, uh, especially uh, various uh, role-play endeavors. Um, and I've played through, I think, the entirety of XCOM 1 and like half of XCOM 2, so I know how the game works, but in comparison uh, to the Master, I certainly am uh, a novice, so Legendary is a bit out of my comfort zone for sure, and uh, I'm pretty sure the main attraction of this will be me fucking up turns <laughs> and uh, him trying to salvage whatever I mess up. Yeah, it's not going to be that bad. He's, of course, uh, under-promising uh, and over-delivering. He's actually quite uh, quite good in strategy games. I can attest to that. Anyways, we are joining today with the very first mission in Operation Defined uh, Param uh, Paramar, uh, which is going to be a uh, Hack the Resistance um, computer mission for an engineer. Um, just a couple of uh, things for how the rules are going to work. During uh, the actual missions, I am not going to um, be able to communicate to Chris, so he's on his own. Um, we have split the team in uh, in two parts. Um, he will take all of the quote unquote blue um, um, operatives, whilst I'm taking the red operatives. Uh, so half of the team essentially has the color blue, the other half has the color red. Um, and uh, it's always his turn first, so he's going to start um, with uh, his operatives, and then I'm going to uh, do the remaining turns so he cannot hear me during the missions although he will comment on his thought process uh, the if you like what we're uh, trying to establish here uh, now is the perfect time to leave comments um, uh, down below uh, this here will be a teaser or a trailer for a couple of um, missions and uh, if they find the right resonance we are of course continuing with it now without further ado uh, let's uh, dive into the mission. We are in, uh, at the beginning of March. It's, it's March 7th. And uh, let's take a look at our team. Uh, we both crashed Gatecrasher. Uh, so we do have Renvin, uh, the Assault. We do have Roby, uh, the uh, Grenadier. We do have Hunk, a new um, viewer character uh, that has been recently added, um, who is going to be our specialist. And we got Hogbite, the legendary uh, person who uh, single-handedly defeated XCOM. We haven't created any special items, so we're going in with grenades all the way. The only thing that we have equipped, as you can see, are uh, the um, DLC weapons. Uh, the only person not having that equipped is Renman so far, so he gets the scatter gun. Um, and, oh, wait a second, he can also take the sword, traditional sword. Uh, there we are. Good. Perfect. That's the starter. Chris is going to play a Roby and Hunk. Um, I'm going to play Renvin and Hogbite, so I'll be up in the face of the enemies whilst he is cover removing and um, supporting in this particular mission. And uh, let's see how this all is going to turn out. I'm excited. We're flying to the mission. 3 to 1, and let's go. All right, I am on mute and we're going to start right into uh, the mission. We are landing again to remind ourselves the idea is Chris will not be able to hear me 
or any of the things that I'm uh, saying. So we landed on high ground, which is perfect. And we have a shared control. Uh, Chris uh, now takes control of his soldiers. We need to Let me shut. See if I can get an overview of the area. Where do we need to go? All the way over there. Hmm. Building combat isn't exactly my preferred way of dealing with stuff. I prefer to have these super uh, super cautious, so we're going to be super cautious as well. I think I'll I'll need to help him for a second uh, because he's starting to move yeah. my operator. <laughs> okay, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, I just move the right one. Yep, I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he noticed it himself. Okay, perfect. Yep. No problem. I'll leave the other two to you. I'll need to get uh, used to the new color scheme. Good. We're doing it for the first time, guys. Uh, give us some slack. So um, um, I'm now simply going to move with him. Um, we only have seven turns, which uh, um, will be the biggest problem here. So we need to somewhat move aggressively in order to uh, in order to engage, and we cannot afford to wait for too long. So. There we go. It's his uh, turn again. Let's see what the aliens are up to. Got a sector. I have eyes on the enemy. Let's see if he uh, if he wants to approach uh, them. Right. So I may or may not have forgotten that we're currently supposed to be hidden. So. Not a lot of cover in the way here. I'll help him so that he only moves his um, operatives. His main problem now is to look here. find the right cover. And one of the typical issues that many players are running Nothing. into is um, having um, let's go down here. Yeah, having a problem to lose momentum. Um, then this is. Or a blue one. Which means being too slow and then getting in, into trouble with the mission timer. I'm trying to like indirectly push him. He knows that the enemies are exactly there. Exactly what can be seen by the enemy. And if he would take the full cover there, that would position. be a smart move. I'll just leave him here. All right, almost. Almost. Um, or going in with Hawkbite, uh, single movement there. Renman, single movement there. He's not yet familiar with the blue turn uh, first kind of uh, deal. Um, so that's why he's usually moving both turns, but that's fine. We can manage. If I move it to here, uh, there will be a problem that it, once they are moving into that direction, we will be spotted out. So that's actually a bit of an issue. Uh, what we can do is, uh, unless here he is blocking uh, quite a bit. So what we can try to do, because we need to go um, in front yeah, I is... I like the situation either <laughs> with the cover available. Or going to the inside here. That's to see I'm not the only one struggling. Good. We see both of the enemies, which means we can Onward. carefully move into cover. I'll need him to teach me how he does the uh, waypoints like that. Actually, never used that. Good, there we go. Second pack. Now we're talking, baby. Two packs visible. So I definitely want to start combat <clears throat> relatively soon, considering the turn timer. That thing always gives me anxiety. Um, let's see. I if he would take the full cover upstairs. There's anything else down here. So. And don't do that. Don't want to... Yeah, that's Actually, that's that a looks... right play. Very nice. By the way, he can't hear me, so uh, you guys uh, uh, should know he's doing that all by himself. Perfect time now to What's check the heck. All right. Oh, 
he placed his guy all the way over here. No, that's all right. You're in here. Hmm. To risk it or not to risk it. All the way to here. It's very flankable, I feel like. Uh, he's go he's trying to be too aggressive at this point. Uh, we can't engage now because he has already and double essentially moved. Move in for, from below whenever we do choose to engage. See, and that's a problem uh, once you're this playing. still extremely, with... extremely mm -hmm. tempting to just move everything downstairs, but I get the impression it's probably not the best idea. So, well, it's not a bad idea now, if he would. I think I'm going to move to here. And then I'm going to leave the next two actions up to Saiken. See where he goes. All right. And then so... follow from there. I like his general um, idea of approaching it. So, how about. We're following his core idea. There's no point in doing something uh, by uh, by yourself. In this specific case, we are following on his idea to engage on low ground. And let's move up. Yeah, that's a pretty damn big sprint. <laughs> um, all things considered, I would love to just go here, sit here, but I get the impression that might uh, screw me over. Uh, he has the grenade launcher, so I really want to kind of oh, stay don't nearby. Don't do that at the end of the turn. I feel like I got some decent coverage from here. So if there was like a piece of cover here, that would be great. That's true. Um, Considering the range of the grenades, I'm just gonna leave him here, I believe. He, he doesn't know all of the features yet. I see. I'll have to ask him afterwards if this is actually used up once permission. Yeah, looks like it. All right. Um, yeah, you're gonna stay behind. Just Okay, well, that's not a bad uh, move. See what happens. So first pack is moving out of range, which is perfect. We definitely need to engage now. Uh, the way that we've set up, so you're always worried those guys would come back. All right. <clears throat> um, preferably, actually start shooting something at this point. Is it the civilian that sees me? All right. This oh, would be an option still. That's a good move. But we'll move the grenadier there. Okay. That should be okay. Oh no, there's no cover to the side there. Ah, you All would right. be okay. You can do that. It's all uh, right. Change of plans. We are going downstairs. Oh, well, we're losing a lot of time now. Oh, we're losing a lot With of time. The others, and we're moving all the way around. So for now, it's gonna go here, and then ignition. Well, Sorry, it's a bit of a it? more defensive play than I would have guessed we would take. Stay so right. Can't wait here. It appears as if we are avoiding combat quite a bit, so we gotta get to here. So one thing is we could try to use this or this ladder. Moving up. And fully moving up to here. Hawkbite overwatches, and that's the end of the turn. We're only four more turns away, and we haven't engaged a pack yet. That's the good news. We have not yet screwed up. Chris is playing very carefully. Doesn't want to. So my thought process is, we saw the guys earlier in here. That's correct. So most likely, just going up the ladder isn't the greatest idea. Uh, no, we, they might 
see us when we go through. So obviously we need to continue moving down here. Oh but shit! Also our time I I forward. telegraphed that we're now so sneaking all the way up there. Uh, my bad. We get in a somewhat decent position over here. I'm a bit worried about moving that far. Oh my! But, uh, oh my gosh! This is going to be the. What, what do they say? You you only live once. <laughs> The most careful um, run I've ever done. Let's go to all the way to over here. All right, double move. I want to keep the grenadier ready, so we're gonna move our friend Hunk instead. All right, specialist we're it is. Have him move all the way to there. Three more turns. See what happens. Boy, we gotta engage something. Nothing. It's desirable result in this case. So we're going to move our Grenadier, in that case, all the way to here. Ah, could we'll leave it at that. That's fine. Three more turns, and we got to get to uh, that. So this here would be a hacking spot. This here and this here would be a hacking spot as well. Let's take a look. All right, Hogbite. Um, We're still in concealment, and that's the only reason why I'm even doing this here. Blue move, all right. Hawk by blue move. Good. Barely out of line of sight. Double overwatch. And let's see. The AI will definitely put someone in between us. There we go. That's the flanking uh, position. Nice. Got ourselves a nice little fight on our hands. Ooh, finally some action. Again, that's a lot of guys. Two more turns. Just, uh, try and not use an action here. He could flank him. I don't know if he sees it. Yeah, that's it. That's an action. Okay, Excellent good. move. Um, the no. best solution always is a grenade. Let's see if that solves <laughs> the problem. It's not always the best solution, buddy. <laughs> it's not. I do oh, not shit, think he, so. I think he goes He's not an XCOM 2, it seems. No, did he Almost. give me one? Try it a little bit more. Yeah, there no, you go. I believe I only get one of them at a time. No, Very you can well. get two. In that case, let's not do that. <clears throat> Instead, how much damage do we deal with our uh, weapon again? Four Can't to six. That. Four I to six. Not. All right. Um, Buddy. Two issues. We switch to our friend here, Hunk. He yep. can't actually get there. Can't so think. we will have to do it with our Robbie. machine gunner, Ruby. Let me just move him here. Excellent move. And I like it. take a point blank shot. Uh, no. Did he just. Yes, yeah. the right one. There you go. Game trying to troll me. All right. Very nice. Good flinking shot. Love it. And then. Um, Hunk himself. Do we have anything of interest that we can use? What was the aid protocol again? Bonus to defense. I would like to hope that he doesn't get easily shot from up there. Um, not really any great cover I can run to. And I really don't want to give up my shot for the moment. Especially if Saiken manages to trigger some additional enemies. I yeah. still know that there are some guys over there clever unless they both added but i don't think they did so once again i'm gonna quickly wait uh whoops to uh grab this cover over here if he does indeed move away Rolling. all right Renner moves in full cover triggers the remaining pack just following his guidance here Target 
All right, and hog bite. Gets a promotion. I'm always surprised by his choices. Taking out the Advent Trooper, I would have thought the correct play would be to take out the uh, alien. Oh, you're still moving. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Good. So. I'm positioning Hogbite here because I'm not sure if he's. Bit of a mess with the software. You really don't know if, if someone's still controlling your mouse and essentially you're both at the same time controlling all the actions that are happening. So. Yeah, makes it a bit easy to, to fiddle it, fiddle it. Uh, so I don't think the alien can get to him if I put him here. That's correct. Um, let's move here for now. Overwatch. See if maybe we can use the old problem solver. We could. Yeah, it's not a bad choice. Just take, it, uh, take a grenade shot at it like this. But I think... All things considered, well, probably not enough things considered, but don't don't go. There. I would like to get closer to the hacking point, which appears to be here. Yeah, you. Well, so okay, I'm well. Go to that. Is that a window? I'm having a bit of trouble with the resolution, but I believe that is a window. Can we get cover somewhere close to it? Yes, we can. And would that still be enough to get there next turn? Yes. Potentially, but probably not. Okay, I'm <clears throat> gonna take over close to our Templar. Not a bad choice either. He's very aware. There was a big risk associated with his move though. He could have ended up uh, triggering another pack. Alright. So far, so good. Alright, the zombie. Good. He's going to start. Very well. Does he know that he can hack from a farm? So let's first figure out how to secure the data. We did set hunk up that way. Oh, you don't need to. As do that. far as I remember, the uh, oh, I just do it from this side. That's obviously preferable. Nice. I will debrief with um, him after the mission yeah, uh, so that he learns it. And he got himself. Not sure what the game was showing me there, but all right. Let's get rid of that. Perfect. Good. I would take satellite data. Mm, no effect. Okay, so you don't get punished at all if you fail it. That's convenient. Um, contact costs or scanning times. I mean, might as well gamble, right? Um, this is hilarious. I'm already loving it. Beautiful. All right. Perfect. Reinforcements. We got to deal with them. There's the extraction zone. No, that's not the extraction zone, buddy. Yeah, that's that's going gone. to be a lot of uh, more aliens coming in. All right, I don't like that information. Um, mm -hmm. Correct play would flank. be to move up, look like it. up, uh, and hit the sector as a flank. I don't I recall think... if the zombies have any special abilities if you shoot them from up close. So we have a friend back here. I can't one-shot him. I would like to let the Templar do it, but it looks like the range might be like... That looks like it's too far away. Yeah, but you can set him up. So <clears throat> maybe Templar takes out the, the big boy here, and then together with uh, our friend here, we can take out the, uh, what are they called, the sectoid. Not flanking, we're flanking here. That's we don't have any other aliens on the map except for the melee guy, so I'll make some space for him to move here or up there. No, it's, it's I like the thought process. Shot. He's smart. Oh, 
Very nice. It's a good play. He'll figure out that the zombies will die now. There we go, and the zombie dies. I have learned something. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's a smart guy. I love it's it. It's been a while since I played this. All right, so this would be a super aggressive move. We're going to position ourselves here. Sort of aggressive move. And we're just going to overwatch. There we go. Reinforcements. All things considered, I mean, he only played XCOM 1, really. He's doing a phenomenal job. I really like it. There we go, four points of damage. All right, nothing too bad. Indeed. But now oh, it's getting still worse. still in activity, I was wondering. Okay, we got a real fight at our hands. Let's see what he comes up with. Let's see, we have our grenade launcher friend all the way down here. Yeah, that's a good position. Should be able to see them for according cover. to the target preview. I'm not quite sure if he'll be able to shoot them as well. Um, and not really any other cover we can move to. So, it's a good one. to be the choice. <clears throat> and then... Try and launch one so I can hit at least one guy with it. Oh, Jesus. The application is currently giving me a nice little blur of vision. There's the other guy, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a good so one. They look too far apart. Just blow up the car. I think that was an option. Come on. Game. Okay. You can do it. There you go. No? That's actually a pretty good grenade. You can't. Can get someone in their cover, I believe, back here. That would be my oh, I see the better choice. Grenade. We can flank that guy over here. I think pretty easily. I like his thought process here. Sorry about that. Uh, so I think we're going to go for this and just clear the field. Good job. Killed one, remove cover, excellent. All right. Also makes uh, makes it so we don't have to reload yet. No, so no, no. You should take the right cover. flank. Ah, I well, see what he's available. He's getting himself in into trouble. Can't really go all the way around, uh, but I'm pretty sure we'll take this guy out. So, I um, don't think I'll get flanked from this side. So we're just going to go here and take a shot at that last guy out in the open. He's pretty exposed uh, there. Uh, oops. There you go. Still used to battle text targeting system where you use tab. That should be correct. Don't miss, please. Thank you. Nice one. All right. Okay, so... I do have an idea. And one way of dealing with that would be to remove cover. And we can also teamwork at the same time, just to use the maximum action economy. Which means I'll enable his grenadier.
and we are going to deal the most damage that we can. There we go. Let's see if he can uh, if he picks up the clue. Okay, yeah, I'm not quite sure how the action is back. I guess uh I actually have no idea how the action is back. You know, I saw you use the teamwork thingy, so I guess you gave me one. All right. But he only has one action. <clears throat> All things considered. Um do let's it. Have a look here. Do it. 67%. That's the only guy we can shoot at directly. Let's see what grenades can do. Because I do love, love me some grenades. We could hit, hit this guy. Um, there's another sectoid upstairs, which no. we cannot quite get to. Okay, so pretty much guaranteed takeout on this guy, I believe. Three to four. Not quite. Or we can take a shot. Let me quickly check again. 67% chance. Mm. He doesn't know about the stock yet. I'd rather be certain. No, he has the stock. Guy's gone. quite get to him that would have been my preferred target just shoot him buddy you have to stop uh, yeah let's stop. try and clear the potential flanker well we're rather blue man almost almost unlucky all right Good. So we could either get the trooper, get either of these troopers, get that trooper who can move to here. There's potentially a flank, which is going to look bad. This here could be a potential flank, which is also going to look bad. Either way, not the perfect play. What we can do is we could move up here and then try to kill two of them and the way that i'm going to do that is by using the volt ability all right so that's a resurrection We can definitely kill him next turn. That's a flank. Whew, luckily missed. That's another flank. Wow, we're being in Remember how I said surely they won't be flank. <laughs> surely we'll take that guy out. Oh well. Okay. Looks like we got extremely lucky. We good? Uh, I think we're good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's have a look. He doesn't have a pistol, does he? No. So he will have to reload after this shot. Uh, all things considered, uh, let's just move him here and take out the guy flanking. That seems like the best idea for the moment. Or we can just leave him back here. Let's have a look. Can you shoot? You can, but it's pretty bad. Let's move. Uh, he still doesn't know about the stock. I need to explain that Take to that him. Take that guy out. No, that's not that much better. Oh well, that's rookies for you. Maybe he now knows. Right. And then we need blue number two. We have the zombie. As we found out uh, earlier, they do disappear when the uh, sectoid dies, so... Let's see, that doesn't look like we would actually be flanking. Just shoot this guy through the window, that's not flanking either. Um, hmm. There's only two more enemies on the map, from yeah. what I can tell. He can go in aggressive. This is a civilian, so it really shouldn't be an issue if I just move in and shoot the guy point blank. What could go wrong? I like what it because he has, he has no feedback whatsoever, so 
No, not the zombie. This guy. He's... 97%. Surely, surely you want this. He's doing all of that by himself. Very much appreciated. You all phased out of existence for a second there. Good. We already know that Hogbite has been promoted. So instead... What we are going to do is we're trying to get Renman promoted. And that's probably it. Status confirmed. Status confirmed, guys. We got the first mission done flawless. Although the gameplay was not we got fully. carried pretty hard by RNG there in the last turn. <laughs> not fully flawless. All right. All right, and we are back. Chris and I just had a little bit of a mission debriefing. Boy, boy, that was a uh, that was a fun mission. Uh, Chris, what was your experience for the uh, from the first mission? Uh, well, I learned a few things that apparently I forgot since last time I played. Um, I also figured out halfway through the mission that it probably wasn't a great idea to move like the down ways, and essentially put multiple packs on the map for us to engage as soon as we break stealth. So that's like my two big takeaways there. Which is not bad. Okay, so um, it's always great. I mean, the best thing that can happen in XCOM is that you get some learning after each mission. Okay, uh, how about you promote your soldier? Uh, you got Hunk, uh, who's mm -hmm. ready for promotion. Well, then, uh, combat protocol. Um, there we go. Let me quickly see here. That was the guaranteed damage. Yeah, and exactly. That's protocol. two guaranteed it's damage. Range deal. Mm -hmm. um, don't remember what comes down the line. So uh, you can always um, uh, pick and choose. What do you mean by pick and choose? Well, you can uh, pick from either side, and every single tier you can decide yeah, whether. Or not. But I don't think you can retrain, can you? No, but there is an option in War of the Chosen that allows you to actually take both of the skills. Uh, we need the building training center for that. So even if you pick one now, it doesn't mean that you cannot pick the other one on top of it later. Alrighty, well, considering considering I messed up killing that one enemy with one health, with the uh, stock gun, uh, I'll take the guaranteed damage. Alright. Good, very good. Uh, then Hogbite got a promotion, which is uh, the character that I'm playing. I'm going to take Perry. For you, Chris, Perry allows, uh, instead of moving afterwards, it uh, will allow uh, me to basically block one attack. And what you see up here is what you will see in the uh, training center. Uh, the hero classes already get it without the training center. Everyone else will need a training center. Basically, there is a pool of um, ability points for all XCOM agents. Um, and each of the abilities here will cost certain points. As you can see down here, 10 points if you want to get that. Um, and it's first drawn from the individual soldier action points and then from the rest from the pool. Uh, yeah, and essentially you can get all of the skills if you so desire. Anyways, Chris is going to lead us through the strategic layer and uh, take <laughs> some decisions for us. Lead through is a very heavy, heavy wording. <clears throat> okay, let's have a look here. We finished research. No, that is um, a no, data. No, that's just doing research on it. Yeah, that's a data cache, which, when we would be researching it, would give us extra intel. Let's see. Hello. That's just the council coming up? Right. He's basically telling you the, yeah, the main the, object. Yeah, that's the story. Mm -hmm. Okay. By the Black Side region, make contact. Seems reasonable. That's our rewards. We got our first engineer. Another impressive effort, Commander. Absolutely. So you can either use that to clear alien debris or to speed up the resistance ring. Exactly. How much? Uh, it halves the time. So from 18 to 9 days. Seems reasonable. Okay. Let's do that for now. I believe we can always reassign them. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just like to see alien debris. We have not a lot of supplies at the moment. Yeah, the first alien debris on the first layer will take 10 days to clear and uh, give you kind of a decent amount of supplies. 
Oh shit, it gives supplies, it doesn't use supplies. Yes, exactly. So we should still be able to move her over. Mm -hmm. I would like to have some space in case we want to build the next one. Okay. So let's do that instead. And I guess the supplies is a nice bonus. Yes. Um, <clears throat> that aside, uh, as far as I can remember, we didn't exactly get any items we can equip. No, we can... Um, da -da -da -da. Let's go to... Was it the armory? No, it's always engineering. I always keep going to the armory to try and build something. Uh, flashbang, disorients, medkit and smoke grenade. So the flashbang would be disorienting enemies and also breaking uh, psionic effects. Um, it gives them a minus 20 penalty to attack. Uh, the smoke grenade uh, gives us a plus 20 bonus to defense in a certain area. Uh, applies to multiple uh, members and medkit is pretty straightforward gives you the ability gives you immunity to poison on the person who's carrying it and uh, can heal once for four hit points doesn't say anything about immunity to poison is that just a hidden effect yeah that's a quote-unquote hidden effect hmm. very convenient okay well it's between medkit and flashbang to be honest um don't have a lot of money To bring back and save somebody, as far as I recall. Let's bring one of them. All right. Yep. Yeah. Our engineer is building something. Whoops. Yeah, uh, good question as well. I saw some kind of energy bar under our soldiers. Is that like their oh, actual yeah. energy? Do they need to rest? Yes, uh, that is the long war awesome. mechanic that they included in War of the Chosen. So um, some of our soldiers now will be tired for four or five days. I see. Shouldn't matter too much, no. because we currently don't have a mission going, so I guess we'll switch them out if we actually need to start a mission anytime soon. Correct. This is what the Council told you about the Black Side, and there is an option to get more rookies. So, currently we have our resource cache and the rookies. So supplies would be my preference, so we're going to go... All right. Yeah. Very nice. Supplies usually gives you between 50 and 75 supplies at the very beginning of the game for five days. That's not too bad. There you go. 60 supplies. Okay, very good. Um, I think oh, we still have the mission, but we can actually go here because we don't have the communication center. Correct. That's for later anyways. We've, we don't want to form in that mission. We'll leave that open. So for a moment, the only other thing we have is rookies. And rookies it is. Good. There you go. We got a new research. That was uh, the alien biotech. Which now opens up, as you can see, the infirmary as a building. Infirmary allows your soldiers to heal twice as fast. Um, and uh, it opens a few autopsies. Exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. Engineers. I remember that. Um, resistance communications. That's the one we need for the story mission. Or, of course, an autopsy. I sadly do have not memorized every single corpse and what kind of research it speeds up, so we're just going to autopsy. It does not, uh, the, the corpses do not speed up research. I'll just give you the info and then you make the decision how you want to do it. Um, some research yeah. speed up um, the autopsies, so um, they make them instantaneous. Um, but not the other way around. Uh, with uh, for uh, for your info, the three autopsies that you do have available is res um, captain. The captain would um, give you access to the proving grounds, which is uh, the building that allows you to tinker a lot of the extra grenades um, and extra armor and alien weapons. Um, and the sector it gives you, um, but you would need scientists for that. Would give you the access to mine shields as a creatable item. I see. That would give you intel. Uh, if you were to decipher the alien 
uh, in cash. Yeah, I seem to recall uh, not really wanting to research anything that has this long research time. I like stick to the green stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Hybrid yeah, materials maybe. allows you to um, uh, to basically get a base armor uh, vests that you can equip instead of grenades. Yeah, fair enough. But I like grenades, so all right. That's not happening. So we're we're just uh, cutting up an alien. That seems like a a reasonable choice. Good. Very good. Uh, no, the gear. We've got everything uh, in progress, so we're just going to keep going for the rookies here and wait for a new mission to appear. And new mission it is. The Templars are offering us a special mission. Let's view it for a second. Oh yeah, and there are side trips. Uh, I will talk you through that in a second. Side trips are special mission um, modifiers, a little bit like Pass of Exile maps. In this case, there will be the Losts, which I think you don't yet know. They are a horde of zombies, um, and yeah, they uh, can be killed uh, quite easily. If you kill them, you get your full action back. So it's really an onslaught of zombies coming up and at you. But they are coming in clusters of 10 to 12, so quite a sizable pack. All right, all right. Good. So that would be a mission for uh, the scientist, Intel, and a, and a sharpshooter. Before we jump into it, we'll uh, end today's episode here. Guys, if you enjoyed uh, the co-op mission, if you like the format, now's the right time to uh, comment in the section down below. If you haven't uh, yet subscribed do me a solid and uh, do that as well and uh, if you actually like uh, the type of content we will continue with a little bit longer campaign thank you for watching and see you in the next uh, episode bye bye